What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with brand new AEW action figure news, man. We got some AEW unmatched action figures taking a look at here today, as well as a brand new ringside exclusive, which I'm really excited about. So, can't wait to get into it with you guys. We got some AEW stuff going on, and let's go ahead and just dive straight into it, man. Jeremy took to Twitter yesterday and said, AEW figure reveals tomorrow, and sure enough, woke up this morning, and it wasn't like a thing where it lingered, you know? It, it didn't linger. Usually, when he says that we have new reveals it's like we wake up and we linger and we linger and we linger it gets about 4 or 5 p.m and then bam they get dropped on us he actually hit us with the early early bird special so that was pretty nice but let's go ahead get into what we got here today man and let's just go, let's just start off with the ringside exclusive let's start off with the ringside exclusive blood and gut series number two dr Britt baker dmd man look at this figure right here i think this looks amazing you know we already knew what the head sculpts look like or what the interchangeable head sculpts look like you know we got like the the little render image or whatever you shout out to my man matt for these images because he's a beast but the this figure looks great you got the silver white red black gear going on you even got like the bloody t-shirt right there with Britt baker on it you get three interchangeable head sculpts which look really good the only thing i'm really not liking about the figure is that it's basically just going to be a repaint which i understand like it's going to be a repaint just like the blood and gut series one cody and dustin were but you know it's still a cool figure i still like it it doesn't have like blood on her body because you know i think mainly the blood was on her face but i like this figure another thing that i would say is the pegs on the sides like on the arms are very very noticeable like they're pretty gigantic compared to you know her arm there but those are just little nitpicks that i wanted to get out of the way but i like this figure i like the color of it i like the t-shirt i love the head sculpts i think these head sculpts look much better and they look way more accurate to what Britt baker looks like compared to her first unmatched figure so this looks great man i, I like this ring set exclusive i think it's solid i don't have any issues with it outside of what i've already stated so ringside exclusive Britt baker count me in brad i think we got a good look right there and i'm enjoying it you know i, I think we're gonna add to the blood and guts so i guess like the blood and guts deal is gonna be an ongoing thing which is pretty cool you guys know we have the exploding barbed wire death match coming soon with Kenny Omega and John Moxley, but forging on ahead, guys, we do have better images of Unmatched Series number two, which looks pretty damn good. Let's go ahead and get into the figure that I think the people will want to see the most, and it's going to be Sting. We have Unmatched Collection Series number two, Sting right here, and again, I like the way the head sculpt looks. I think it does look like Sting. I like everything going on with it. The only thing I don't like is that the coat is rubber. You know, it's fine for display purposes, right? Like, you could just put him up there, and he'll just be good, vanilla posed, all stagnant, and stuff like that, but if you want to pose this guy around, it's going to be a nightmare, and you're going to have to take the coat off, which is going to be, I'm guessing he's going to have like the long sleeve shirt underneath, and he still has that weird looking crotch piece, which, uh, you know, we found from those other images. At least it looks like that weird looking crotch piece. So we'll just have to see, you know, I don't like to judge a figure until I have it fully in hand. You know, I'll give you my thoughts about the images that we see, but I think that, you know, I, I still think that, you know, it just looks odd to me. So we'll, we'll see about that. We'll address that when we get the figure in hand. I also know that the Walmart exclusive Sting is not far behind, which will be another figure you can get. So, you know, the Stings are coming, and I don't know if he's the Chase variant. At the time of recording, I've only seen one Chase variant, and maybe I can plug it in at the end with the other Chase variant. Maybe it's Sting, maybe it's not. But Sting's looking pretty good, you know, outside of what I said. But I like the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt does look really damn good. We'll just have to see what it looks like without his coat on. Outside of the Sting figure, man, we also have Tay Conti. And Tay Conti's looking pretty good. I like this. I like, you know, what she's got going on here with the green and silver and black attire going on. They must have known that she was going to get a pretty decent push because she's this early, yet, you know, she's still, you know, she has a title match coming up soon. So Tay Conti's looking pretty good. I think the head sculpt looks good. We don't see the other head sculpt in these images. I'm guessing they're going to be coming soon. And since we see this figure, I'm guessing that the whole set is going to be coming into ringside collectibles very very soon So if you didn't put in your pre-order go put in your pre-order and pre-order this set That way you can get your hands on it when it comes in stock and you don't have to pay the aftermarket secondary price And you don't have to be crazy trying to find these in the stores Even though I know a lot of people like to find them in the stores It's just you eliminate those headaches when you can get them straight in hand by pre-ordering Use promo code MDTOYS if you decide to do that But I like to take Conti I like that we got a new kick pad mold It's going to be interesting to see how the figure feels in hand It looks Looks like it's going to feel good in the hand. We'll just have to see about that. But Tay Conti's looking pretty good right there. The next figure in the set, guys, is going to be Santana and Ortiz. I love these. I think these look so damn good. I like them a lot better than their first go around. 
So looking at, looking at Ortiz and Santana here, I love the camo gear on both of them. I love the orange gear that we're getting with the accents and the camo and all the different stuff. Uh, just sick AF, man. Really, really sweet stuff going on right here. I think the Ortiz black top is cool because you can actually see his his more tattoo detail, right? Because on his first figure, it was the inner circle t-shirt. It covered up his tattoos with the sleeves. You know, it wasn't the most detailed figure as far as tattoos and, and chesticles and stuff like that. So to see the, the tattoos on the chest there, you get the tattoos on the arms. You get the black gloves on there green headband, yelling style face right there. I like this. I like this a lot. I love the camo pants. I, I look forward to making some fix-ups and stuff with extras of this figure, so that should be really fun, and I think that will be freaking amazing. So, I think that Santana and Ortiz look really damn good. Can't wait to see it and, you know, get my hands on these. I think that you could really make a camo gear for like a Kenny Omega or something with Santana as well. So, both of these guys looked really, really good. I like their head sculpts. I like their updated stuff here. Kind of like repaints for, for Santana, but at the same time I love the camo in orange and I think it looks really really sweet and speaking of sweet Brad I just got an image of the one of 5,000 sting and it looks like we're gonna revisit sting really quick right here and to me it looks like it's the same figure so this is the chase variant of the sting figure and it looks pretty damn identical. There's really no difference between this Sting and the other Sting outside of the t-shirt, it looks like. So, like, everything's the same. At least it looks that way. Like I'm saying, the, the head sculpt's the same. Every single thing is the same except the t-shirt design says Sting. And he's got the big scorpion on there. And you have the jacket. So, that's kind of disappointing, honestly, as a Chase variant. Uh, not very creative there. But, you know, they usually just change it up a little bit. Which I guess I understand, but... I don't know, man. I'm, I, I, I don't know about all that. It's kind of just kind of plain Jane. Cause I guess because it's all one color, and then you're just changing one little slight detail about it. So, I don't know. Kind of disappointing, but at the same time, what are you going to do, Brad? Uh, it's just a different t-shirt design there. So, that that is kind of disappointing, but I know you guys would want to know the Chase variant in the set. So, it is going to be Sting with the, with the Scorpion on there. So, you guys can let me know what you think about that. But moving on to the other Chase in the set, which is going to be MJF. So, we have the regular version, and then we have the Chase variant version. So the regular version is the one with the robe on, and the chase variant is the one with the scarf. And you guys can see there, he's got a headband on. He, you know, the, the MJF head sculpt, man. I'm not really feeling this MJF head sculpt. I feel like his Series 2 head sculpt was probably his best one. This one still looks a bit off to me. I think his Series 2 was easily the best. But he comes with his scarf. He's got his elbow pad. You know, he's got the black and red and white. Kind of a boring gear here. Same thing with the Unmatched Series 2 with the robe on. If you guys didn't know what that gear is, it's going to be black with just solid red lines with the inside of it being black. So if you look at the Chase variant, it's going to be pretty much what the Chase variant looks like, except the white or the silver on the trunks of the MJF is going to be black. So it's going to be basically just red and black trunks, at least that's what I believe it is. And then the Chase variant is going to have that silver details just kind of brushed in there, and that will be it. So I don't know, kind of disappointed in the MJF, not really an exciting figure there. There. Uh, I think we should get some of his white boot gears coming soon. We need to see some more colors out of this guy. I think that would really improve his sales of his figure, not only, but I think, you know, having MJF is kind of a kind of an in inevitable deal because he's going to be pumped out a lot because he's one of the top stars. So MJF is getting another figure in Unmatched 2. We kind of already knew that was coming. And then I believe this is the last figure in the set, which is going to be Warlow. And Wardlow is looking pretty damn good. I like the Wardlow. I think he looks jacked. He's got like his traps there. Got the giant arms. Looking like a beast. I like this Wardlow a lot. I like the head sculpt. We do have like the green, black, and silver gear. He's got the large knee pads. Gonna be really cool to see what we can do with this guy now that we have some different parts. So we have like this jacked torso. We have some bigger legs. We have some things we could play around with with our figures and stuff. So Wardlow could be a fun guy to kind of bash, you know, kit bash together. Make together with some other guys and stuff like that. I like the Wardlow a lot. Lot. I think he looks awesome. This is the screaming head sculpt, which looks amazing. He's not only getting a screaming head sculpt, but he's also getting a straight face pissed off head sculpt. So that's beautiful to see. But Unmatched Series 2, Wardlow is looking really awesome. So overall, the Britt Baker, the Tay Conti, the Sting, Chase variant, and the regular version, the MJF and the Chase version, you have Santana and Ortiz, and you also have Wardlow there to finish off our Unmatched Series number two. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. Do you like Series 1 of Unmatched Series or Series Series 2 better. Series 3 is going to be sick AF because we get like the Dark Order set with the Brody Lee and all that different stuff. And then in Unmatched 4, we get freaking CM Punk and Jade Cargill and all these other people. So it's going to be really, really sick 
to see uh, how these unfold. Hopefully, they will get better and better. But I also wanted to look at these two Chase variants just because I didn't get good images of them, and my boy Matt got good images of them. So, Series 7 Chase variants, you got Lance Archer right here. And I like this one a lot better than the regular version with the silver, black, and red. It looks really, really clean. And then the Nyla Rose figure, the orange just pops off nice on this figure. I don't know what it is, but that silver and orange looks sick AF. So, I just wanted to plug these in here just to show you guys what they looked like before, you know, we moved on here. But... I just had to get on here, let you guys see these Unmatched Series 2 figures and see the official photos and let you guys know what uh, I thought about them. And you guys can let me know down in the comments section below your feeling about this set, what you feel about all these figure reveals and stuff. I, I hear a lot of people saying they were disappointed. And, I mean, we kind of already knew what they were going to look like. Like, we had seen some leaked images here on the channel and stuff like that. So, I wasn't super invested in seeing what the final images looked like because we kind of saw what that was like. And, you know, we were kind of waiting to see what it looked like. But I was waiting to see those Chase variants. I would say they're kind of eh Chase variants. Variants. You know, I'm not going to pay a, an arm and a leg for those. I mean, maybe eventually I'll play the long game probably because I probably won't find them in stores. But anyways, man, you guys can let me know what you think of Unmatched Series number 2. Do you think Series 1 or 2 is better? I think overall I like Series 1 better, but I don't know. That's just me thinking about it for 0.5 seconds. Just, you know, Kenny Omega, Darby Allen, you know, Britt Baker. And I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think. I like the Miro too, so I, I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comment section, man. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Series 1 and 2 down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like that Sting Chase variant. You cross the line.